So for science this week, we're learning about patterns of movement. And there's four words that I want you to uh, review for that. The first one is gonna be movement. So movement is a change in position. That means when I change one uh, thing from being in one place or one position and going to a different one. The second word is force. And the force is what causes a uh, thing to move positions or to change their position. So I need to apply a force. Like for example, if I had like a, like a for example, a ball, I would need to apply a force to change the position from being here with me and throw it somewhere else or jumping or spinning or rolling. Um, position we'll be talking about it is like where things are, which the place that they are without any movement or any force that it's being applied to them. And the last word is gonna be pattern. So pattern is something that repeats going on and on. And that could be with um, going up and down, going back and forth, spinning, rolling, or sliding. There's gonna be some objects that spin, some objects that um, slide, some that roll, and some that go back and forth and up and down. Those are gonna be different patterns that repeat all the time with certain movements. So after this, we're gonna see a few of the things that we just talked about it. And then on your easy PC grid with the code RIS2 on Flipgrid, you'll be able to explain the words about these uh, vocabulary words with some actions for us to understand the vocabulary. Okay guys, so I hope you have fun doing your flip grid. Bye. Let's try a few objects that roll. A toy car, the wheels will go round. So this would be an object that rolls. Also a ball, that would be another object that rolls. And cylinders. Any can that we have could be another object that rolls. Okay, this could be an object that spins, a fan, keeps going round and round. Another pattern of movement would be going up and down. So I also need to apply a force. So I need to jump and go up and down to be able to have this movement. So there's basic forces like jumping up and down. But you can use the surroundings around you to do more complex types of spinning motions and other types of forces. Like, if you don't want to be simple, you can do a backflip, which is more, you need more force to apply so you can complete a full rotation around the air. In order for me to have uh, movement on this hammock, I need a force. So I'm actually going to have to push myself to move positions and I want to have this movement going back and forth which is also apparent because it's always going to repeat as long as I'm applying some force it's always going to go back and forth okay objects that have flat surfaces they're not going to roll down a down a uh, ramp so if I were to have a ramp and I put an object it's not going to roll but it's going to slide so each one of those flat faces would slide down the ramp. That will happen with the pyramids or any uh, prism, it's also gonna slide. But objects that have curved surfaces like a cone, if I put it on the flat side, it's still gonna slide. But if I put it on the curved side, then it's gonna roll. That will be a roll. <laughs> it looks like a slide, but they actually roll. <laughs> That's it.